What's up everybody? So today, today I'm actually, I'm actually sick. I'm, I'm always sick when there's something I'm supposed to do. Tomorrow I gotta shoot, and then today I gotta do something today, which we're gonna talk about. And I'm like, every time I gotta do something when it regards photography, I get sick for some reason. I don't, I don't know. And excuse the mess here, I'm like moving some stuff around. But um, yeah, so today I kinda wanna make a video um, about um, doing a little bit of street photography in Atlanta, uh, but also because I'm actually getting ready for an exhibit. And today is actually the first day where we can drop off our prints. I'm gonna get my prints ready. They're sitting over there actually at the table. And um, we'll go ahead and set them up, walk around a little bit. It's kind of cloudy outside. It's kind of overcasty or whatever. Is that even a word? But um, yeah, so we'll just do that today and kind of go for a ride. All right guys, so this or these are the prints that I have. Um, so this one isn't in a frame. I'm actually debating if I should put this in a frame or keep this one there. Um, and then I have another one here. Uh, oh my God, this is really hard. I don't want to scrape. Okay, hold on. This is, wait a second. This is it here, so I'm keeping this one here. But like I said, um, I don't really know. Man, my place. Here's a mess or whatever. Um, I have a whole bunch of boxes I need to be throwing away. Um, yeah, so it's either between this. All right, um, so you're probably wondering, like, I only have two prints that I can show here today. And here's the thing. So <clears throat> this exhibit, this gallery that I'm going to, it was referred to by another photography friend. Um, never heard of them, never heard of the gallery or whatever. But, you know, I just decided, hey, why not? Why not go ahead and put myself out there and see if I get accepted? And you know, you never know what's going to happen here. There's going to be so many people there that I can meet, and you know, exposure to my work. Um, it's always a good thing. So I went ahead and did that. They wanted five pictures, and that's what I did. I gave them five pictures, and then I got accepted. But long story short, at first they wanted three photos um, for everybody to present at the gallery. But then they found out that they measured everything, and three photos. For each individual person would work out so instead they went to bring up to one or two photos so these three all were going to be there but then they took that away and say you're going to bring one or two so that kind of put me in a dilemma and i have to decide which ones i'm going to put and frame up and i think i'm going to go with this one only reason why is because i actually sold this at my store my online store that i have up i'll put the link below whatever i have prints online and you know, at this gallery, we can sell these prints up to from $200 to $500. So, yeah, this one is really, really cool. I just don't know how many people want to buy it, especially like home buyers. I, I can see this in an office space. I mean, yeah, maybe there might be some presidents or corporate people that might come up there and might want to buy this. But this is already selling, and I get so many people that want this, especially people who live in Atlanta. Was it not recording? Jeez. All right, guys. So what I am about to do takes very delicate hands and this is a serious 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 procedure all right turn back here and pop these things out I really hope I'm making a good decision on this like I have a split base of friends and people who like both of them actually but I'm gonna choose two, and I'm the artist, so I choose which ones I wanna represent. But I want you guys to look at something here, like this print here, this paper, it's called a Lustra print. Um, and I freaking love this type of print. It has a very nice like shine to it, um, and it just makes the colors pop. Um, actually, let me show you the other one, because it, it shows so much better with the, like look at this, like look, it just, it just pops. And it's like, it's like a glossy like look to it, but unlike gloss print, fingerprints, look at that, they don't, they don't stain on here. So it, it doesn't keep fingerprints, that's the issue with gloss prints and now why, you know, it's kind of, 
a lot of photographers, they don't really choose that print too much too often because there's so many fingers and hands that can get on there and kind of ruin it. But this doesn't retain fingerprints on there, so that's why I like it. I like the shine. And voila, we're done. Doesn't that look good? Like, this just really looks good in here. Like, shoot, man, I might buy this for myself. All right, guys, so I lied. Uh, we're not going straight to the gallery. Um, actually, I kind of wanted to first pick something to eat and uh, kind of discuss a little bit more about the exhibit. Um, so, yeah, I've only been doing photography um, in a serious role for about three months now. And the fact that 2019 was a year that I kind of wanted to make it you know, make make this passion, this, you know, newfound career choice to go to new heights. And already in January, I'm going to be like an exhibit. Um, well, I knew about it in January, but I'm going to be in it this month in February um, at the beginning of 2019. So I, to me, I felt like, you know, that's a great accomplishment uh, to start the new year off. You got the spicy with the baby? Yes. All right, thank you. My All right, have a good one. You too. All right, gotta get some Chick Fil A. All right, guys, so we just parked here in downtown Atlanta, and um, like I said before, I'm sick, so I don't really even need to be out here at this long. So we're just gonna come out here for a bit, look at some spots, and just start shooting. I guess. So, is this the exit out this way, or? I couldn't find the exit. No. Either. Okay. I don't know, you might want to shot. Uh, Both doors are locked. This is a, uh, oh my gosh, I might have lost. I guess, yeah, I guess you can go out this way. Yeah, it's my first time parking up in here, so. <laughs> oh man, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, you do <laughs> So I'm a photographer myself, and I'm doing like a YouTube right now. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't want to wear heels. Uh huh. To walk all the way down to my distance. Is it um is it a photo shoot you did with um like you met up with somebody on Instagram? Uh, or? it's just a friend of mine who's a photographer. Uh huh. So I do uh, I do shoot photography okay. as well as like portraits and all that here. That's good. What you do full time? Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah. So cool. we'll see. We'll see. All right. All right have fun. All right. <clears throat> all right. Well, that was pretty cool. All right, guys. So that was pretty dope. Um, so I just met up with this girl in the parking lot who was also here to do a photo shoot, um, and we just linked up. I said she had a nice, nice look that I was looking for. So we just exchanged social media and like, there, there you go. I booked the shoot in the next coming weeks or so. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. See, this is why when you do stuff like this, you got to get out here. You got to, got to put yourself out there. So if this is something you're really trying to pursue, you got to put your face, your name out there, your presence. Otherwise, you're not going to get future work or you're not going to get better or you're just, just going to stay in the same little small bucket. And you want to grow out of that bucket eventually and just get into a bigger one. That's usually just how everything goes, so. And everyone is just doing shoots here today. As you can see, there's some people over here. So one thing I have to realize is that when I'm filming out in public, there's always this, this embarrassing thing of people staring at you like, why the hell are you talking to a camera? But the funny thing is everyone knows that YouTube is this. Everyone knows that there's vloggers out there, but it's still kind of weird when you see one like walking in the street next to you. So people still give you that eyes it's like, uh, what the hell are you doing? Oh, this is, well, look at this. Yo, I don't know if I can see, man. This is, yeah, I'm so about to take a snap picture of this. All right, that was like a dope shot. See, that's that's what I love about street photography is that even though I've been around the city so many times, I'm walking into different spots I've never been in before. So that is pretty dope. And um, yeah, I think I think it's a pretty good spot. But my phone, my, not my phone, my camera is actually about to die. So 
what I want to say is that even when you're out there in public and you got a camera like in your face, people look at you like you're crazy, but hey, you're trying to do what you're trying to do. You're trying to get yourself out there. You're trying to get your name out there. You're trying to build a channel. And if you're all about vlogging, you kind of got to get over that, you know? And a good thing about street photography too is that it helps me out. Like just today with uh, some of these shots, I had to just go up to a few strangers. Like some strangers I'll go and ask them like, hey, can I take your photo? And that kind of push you out there so you can actually talk to people, introduce yourself. Um, so yeah, I mean, it all gets better. You know, as you keep doing this and doing this, and I'm acting like I'm an expert. Like my channel right now, this is probably the only video that you see right here. <clears throat> all right, so I really like this, this little tunnel thing here. Um, took a shot here earlier and uh, I think I think it's gonna come out pretty good let me show it to you right here so yeah I don't know this this section here with the bars and everything kind of reminds me a little bit of New York a little bit you know because New York has a lot of construction that goes on so this is kind of like it gives you that feel that vibe and actually I like this shot here we go future gallery so this is where it's gonna be at and Hey, how's it going? I'm um, here to drop off some prints. Um, for a bird. All right, let's get these bad boys out. Cool. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. All right, this is this is pretty nice. Yeah, this is my first one actually being in this area too. Oh really? So I was I was a little off, man. All right. Cool. All right. This goes. Uh huh. The walls out there. Okay. And then in here, and in here, as well. So these oh, nice. oh wow. So do we do we get to choose the spot, or you guys choose for nope, us? No, we choose. Okay. That's the beauty of curation. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Or take a new image, or um, it's you know it's kind of up to them, and then they present that photo to the artist who's their partner and then the artist has to create a piece, a new piece based off of that photo. Okay. So it's not something that's, you know, you're not submitting a new, uh, old piece or something you had already. And um, all that stuff. So you just kind of like, okay. And when is that one? Is that, is there another one coming up soon? The next one will be in July, I believe. And I think July. we have the open call is open right now. I think we opened it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, I, mean, I am tired and I need to get some cold medicine. But uh, yeah, um, I really, really, really need to get a second camera because using just this camera, because I'm using the same one for my filming and the photos and it's just it's not gonna work especially when i have to use like two batteries uh just for even just for today so i'm definitely have to invest in like to a gopro or a second camera um you know i kind of want to make this channel like you know community a family you know watch me grow into the passion that i want to take into like you know a career path and i just want you guys to be along with the ride so with that um just keep looking forward to some videos i'll probably have like one or two video posted a week I'm not gonna go that crazy because I got a full-time job and I do this photography gig. So the YouTube thing is definitely gonna slowly, you know, pick up space. And um, we'll go from that. So with that, guys, y'all have a good one and keep the dream alive.